Let me introduce you to the new SAP Business One Sales for iOS app now available. Imagine if you could effectively handle all of your sales activities anywhere, anytime. The SAP Business One Sales for iOS app connects to the SAP Business One version for SAP HANA application, giving salespeople access to the most relevant business information and processes for efficient and successful management of customers and sales. Let's take the following example to show you some of the real benefits of using this new sales iOS app. I'm a sales rep for OEC Computers and I'm currently on the road visiting some of my key account customers. I'm equipped with my iPhone and the SAP Business One Sales for iOS app is installed. Once logged into the SAP Business One Sales for iOS, I am presented with a centralized view to all sales relevant modules. I can see the number of my open items with access to the SAP Business One calendar and my activities. All of this information is filtered dynamically for the current user logged into the app, so it always allows me to view only my activities and sales data based on the current date. I can see all of the activities I have scheduled for today and also for the coming four days. I am also able to see the priorities of these tasks. I'm firstly going to quickly glance at the status of my KPIs by selecting the KPI icon. Being able to display my KPIs is a unique feature of this mobile app. My dashboards are now linked to my KPIs. I can view the potential amount of open opportunities, my sales order amounts for this month, my top five customers, and my top five best selling items. We have access to all of this data in real time. I can further drill down into, for example, any of these KPIs and view the sum or sales amounts in further detail. Back to the home screen, upon reviewing my to-do list, I need to arrange a site visit to my customer MaxiTech. I choose the activity and then I'm able to give my contact, Amanda Kostner, a call. Amanda has agreed to meet with me this afternoon at 2 p.m. because she has some urgent matters she'd like to discuss. So I can easily create a follow-up activity for my meeting with the customer. Now the activity has been added successfully. Before I meet with my customer, I would like to make sure I'm prepared with an overview of all of the sales related activities and monetary status of MaxiTech. So to do this, I can simply select MaxiTech which instantly navigates me to the business partner details or I can navigate via my list of customers by selecting customers. Under customers, I can view a brief snapshot of my customer details. I can also drill down into the information on any leads, for example. Under customers, we can see that we have a customer rating. Five stars is the highest and one star being the lowest. This rate is calculated based on how recent the customer has transacted with your company, how frequent the customer places orders and the monetary value of the orders, consequently displaying your top customers. So I would like to filter my customer list by the value of the sales orders placed with OEC computers. By selecting the sort icon, I'm then able to perform an intelligent sort using a number of different options. We have recency, which is how recent the orders are placed. We also can sort by frequency, which determines how frequent orders are placed, the monetary value of orders, the customer's account balance, or by selecting RFM, and here I'm choosing to sort by all three values, recency, frequency, and monetary value. I can also sort by PRD, which is the proposed reorder date. So I'm going to select the monetary value. My sort tells me that my customer MaxiTech has placed orders with OEC computers with the greatest monetary value. I can also see that they placed an order two days ago, and on average, they place around 20 sales orders per year. I can see that the proposed reorder date, I can see the proposed reorder date, and the figure next proposed reorder date is the average spend per sales order. Given I'm about to pay a visit to my customer MaxiTech, let's drill down into their business partner details. 
Here I can see general details such as account balance, credit limit, payment terms and contact details for example. I can also view additional addresses and contact details. I can view all of the transactions, whether they be activities, sales opportunities, sales quotations or sales orders associated with this business partner. And I can also, and importantly, view my business partner dashboard. In the SAP Business One app, the business partner advanced dashboards are displayed. So let's drill down into the sales order amount by month, for example. We're going to also display this by year. What we can see here is that we've had an increase in sales activities over the past two years with our customer MaxiTech and we can also click on the graph to determine what this total amount was for that particular year. We can also see the total amount of open deliveries, the customer balance and the top five best selling items by sales amount. Under transactions, let's view what sales opportunities are currently in the pipeline. Under sales opportunities, I can see what opportunities are open, won or lost, and I can sort these options, for example, by business partner name, potential amount, and even closing rate. Under my pipeline option, the opportunities have also been broken down by each stage of the sales opportunity, and I can drill down into any one of these stages in further detail and I can also for example at a stage set the status of this stage or edit this existing stage within the sales opportunity. It's now time for my meeting with MaxiTech and I have arrived at their offices so under my meeting activity if I scroll down I have what's called a check-in option. By selecting this option my manager then has visibility by running a report in SAP Business One to view the customer touch activities of all of his sales reps on the road. So now that I've checked in, this will place me at the customer site based on iOS geographic surfaces and also the time in which I visited the customer. During my meeting, we reviewed the most recent sales order from MaxiTech, which needs amending. I have already linked this order to my activity, so I am then easily able to open the related sales order for review. They would like to reduce the quad core CPU units by one and also increase the number of hard drives they would like to purchase. Here we can easily see the contents of the sales order. We can also see the logistics details and any of the accounting details. By selecting the edit button and scrolling down to the items section we've got the ability to amend the order items. So I reduce the quad core CPU by one and I increase their hard disk requirements by four. Now before we commit the sales order I would like to check that we have enough items in stock to deliver the additional hard drive items. So if we go back to our main menu and we click on items, I can simply search for the hard drive items and immediately I can see that my in stock quantity is ample for the increase that they require. If I click on the in stock quantity, we can also see a breakdown of inventory by warehouse of what's available, what's ordered, in stock and what's committed. I also have the ability to click on the unit price and I can see also the different prices for this item based on my different price lists. Back to the sales order, I'm now confident that by changing the items required, there should be no issues in delivery being on time. Given the increase in sales order amount, we also negotiated an extra discount given that they are one of our best customers. As you can see, we can easily update the sales order on the fly and the data is directly written back to the SAP Business One backend system. Back into the activity, I'm now going to create a new phone activity to follow up on the order delivery.
Now that I've added my activity successfully, I would like to synchronize the activities I have created today with my SAP Business One calendar by simply selecting the sync icon. Now my sync is complete and my calendar items in Business One have been synchronized accordingly with my calendar items on my iPhone. In the example I have shown you today, the functional scope of the SAP Business One iOS sales app is clearly sales oriented. Using the service layer and Fury style design with powerful SAP HANA analytic elements, providing instant access to the most sales relevant business information from any location, making it easy for your sales reps to handle their sales activities and stay informed about their business. For a brief overview of technical information and requirements, to use the SAP Business One Sales for iOS app, you need to run SAP Business One 9.2 Patch Level 1 version for SAP HANA or higher. You also need an Apple iPhone 5 or newer and the iOS 8.0 or higher. You can simply download the app which is available from the Apple App Store. It utilizes the service layer, SAP Business One Analytics and the app framework. And it supports the following license types which include professional, limited CRM, starter package and a new mobile user specifically tailored for this app only. From a security perspective, it uses basic access authentication at login, licensed based functional level and user based data level authorization known as data ownership, valid SSL certificates are enforced and also it supports the Apple Touch ID. It also supports all 27 languages of SAP Business One. Thank you for your time and make sure you download the SAP Business One Sales for iOS app today to demonstrate how it can effectively help you manage and grow your business.